Welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today we're here with the new Bluetooth iPilot link on our Minn Kota Ultrax. The Ultrax is a cable assisted power steering unit that uh, allows you to have the cable feel that you're used to but take the advantages of things like iPilot link. This is the new remote. We'll fire it up. Agree to it. And now we have iPilot control from the new touch screen or buttons. The cross touch unit, very similar to our Onyx with the cross touch there, but it's going to allow us to control our Minn Kota iPilot link on our Ultra. So we're going to jump up here to the trolling motor. We'll show you a lot more with the trolling motor in action. We're up here now. We've got our high pilot remote, and you can see we're on a spot lock sequence. Our distance offset is one foot. You can control that if we want to cancel it. We can uh, just hit our prop button. We'll cancel it. Turn our prop on and off as the center button. That's prop on, that's prop speed, direction, left or right, left, increase speed, there's our anchor position, that's our advanced autopilot on if we want to use the uh, electronic compass to help steer us is available in here. You can cancel, you can use the touch screen. Um, there's autopilot, recorder track, go to a spot lock, mark waypoints, go to waypoints. All the stuff we've known is available in a nice handy touch screen. But what's also awesome is the marriage of the Humminbird and Minn Kota product and Lake Master all together in a unit. We now have a virtual remote. I can actually turn the prop on, turn the prop on from my unit without the control or let it over here. I can increase my speed with my plus and minus. I can steer left or steer right. I can steer left. Now this is really going to be more handy for the guys that are uh, they're running from a console unit like walleye fishermen or trollers. You've got cruise control on and off. You, these are your normal screens from the Humminbird. There's our high bypass mode. We'll go back to the thing. Now the other thing is, you can come over here to the menu and I can add my iPilot controls to any screen that I want to. So now I've got that virtual remote as a side on this mapping screen or my 2D sonar screen. Whatever screen you put it on is the one that you can put it on to do your virtual remote. We'll just go to another screen. See it's not there. I come back to exit. I've got my iPilot remote. So you don't have to have this. You can do it from your Humminbird now. You're, you're steering. But what you'll have to do is activate your right pane. To run that. But probably one of the coolest features. Is basically is what we. We'll turn this I pilot controls off. Is I'm going to pick a contour line here. Come over to 42. Menu.
hit your go to button, follow the contour, and it's going to color it. You can see it's colored in one color one direction and the other color the other way. Now what it's going to do is take me back. I have to activate the prop. And it's going to take me over and it's going to follow that contour exactly. We'll just let it jump over here and get on there. We'll zoom in a little bit. It's going to jump on that yellow line there. Speed her up a little bit. You can see we're following that yellow line. We're going to hang on here. Cause it's going to jump on that contour line. We went a little hot past it, so it's going to come back and get on it. But once it gets on it, it's going to follow it. This is excellent for springtime bass fishing when you're going down the bank, trying to stay on a stay on a depth. If you keep your boat the same speed, it's going to follow it a lot easier. You're not going to have all this zigging and zagging. Uh, it should have probably slowed it down a little bit when we got closer. I put my line up when you select it, where the path is going to jump in on that line. But I wanted to show you this. It's going to follow that little bend right here. You can see we're, we're falling right down that bend right now. Let's follow the contour. It's one of the coolest features of a Minn Kota iPilot link is in this Lake Master mapping because I use this actually quite a bit on when I'm controlled depth fishing. When I'm fishing for fish in a certain depth range, I'll use my follow the contour to position the boat. Now you can hit you can hit your anchor button. It threw up SL266 as our spot lock. We've got our heading sensor down here, which really gives us a lot of good accuracy. Uh, we're 12 foot off the spot lock right now, and we're going to be coming by fine tuning back into it. Take a little bit the first time, but once it gets locked on it, it's pretty dang accurate. You can see six foot accuracy, five foot, four foot, three foot, two foot. We got some swirling winds out here today with the, uh, now we're three foot. That's pretty dang accurate. That's just a little bit on the uh, new remote. Uh, you got the screen down here, you got the buttons. It's One of the cool. other cool new things on the new iPilot Link is a feature called Jog. What it allows you to do is when we're on a spot like this, we can jog forward, back, left, or right. If I want to go forward, hit the button once, it's going to take me forward. Hit it again, it'll go forward. So you can keep creeping up to that brush pile, or you can creep back from it. You can position your boat away from that waypoint, left, right, forward. We want to go left, push the button left, we're going this way. Isn't that something that's really cool? You just use these buttons, you can see it on the on the on-screen remote, on the virtual remote on the Humminbird also. Go back to the right. Oh, there's our weight, there's our spot lock. But now we can jog around. Cool new product packed in here from Minn Kota for you to make it easier for you to catch fish. Check it out. The new Humminbird Minn Kota. Combination. Thank you for tuning in to another Tips and Tricks. And isn't that really cool, the new iPilot remote with the touch screen, the buttons, the Humminbird the virtual remote. I mean, to have all this stuff different options of ways to control your boat. The new Ultrax trolling motor, the new Humminbird Helix Gen 2 unit, and the, the new Humminbird iPilot Link. It's all coming together to make it easier for you. So get to your local Humminbird and Minn Kota dealer and check out these cool new products and get some for your boat and get out there 
enjoy more time on the water and catch more fish. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks and tune in next time as we go more in depth about these awesome new products coming from Humminbird and Minkota.